வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு தெரிட்டேஜ் ஸ்டோரிஸ் அண்ட் பெர்ஃபார்மிங் ஆர்ட்ஸ் Facebook page. You are watching Itihas ke Panno Se. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We are on the episode 1, season 3 of Itihas ke Panno Se, where we bring to you stories of unsung heroes from all over India. This would not be possible without your support and encouragement. So thank you to all our viewers for joining us every Friday at 7 p.m. So far, we have completed 14 episodes. That's right. 14 stories of unsung heroes from all over India. It's there on our Facebook page for you to watch. Please do go and watch if you haven't already. We also have good news to share with all of you. We are extremely humbled and delighted to share that Itihas Ke Panno Se has been featured in the online edition of the newspaper, The Hindu. We have got a mention about the kind of stories that we are doing and the work that we are doing. So thank you all for watching, for sharing, and for encouraging us. So now, today's story. Today's story comes to you all the way from Tutikore, which is a port city in Tamil Nadu. And as many of you have guessed in our clues, it is originally known as Tutikore in Tamil, while it was referred to as Tutikore by the Portuguese who came to the city. It is also known as the pearl city of India and is famous for pearl fishing, the occupation of fishing for pearl oysters. Bringing to you a story of a very, very special man, an unsung hero from those times is Priya Muthukumar. Priya Muthukumar is a storyteller and an educator. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Her love for storytelling has taken Priya to various schools, colleges, museums, parks, corporate offices, railway stations, where she has delightfully narrated stories to one and all. Also, her love for nature takes, makes her include nuggets of environmental wisdom in all her narrations. Priya is a performance storyteller and is the founder of the storytelling initiative Storypur in Bangalore. She's a translator who works on children's literature and has translated around 15 books to Tamil. She writes sustainability stories for magazines. She works as a workshop consultant working closely with schools to use storytelling in teaching and learning. She also strongly believes in the famous quote that if one needs to know about the culture, one needs to listen to stories. And if one needs to change the culture, then the stories too told do need to be cha- need to change. Currently, she's working with National Institute of Fashion Technology, Bangalore, as an expert faculty and in storytelling as a general elective subject. Over to you, Priya. Please join us. Priya, hi. Please come join us. We are all waiting to hear your story. Can I give you the stage? Yes. I'm sitting amidst the clouds. They say this is heaven. Swargalogam. Swargalog. Devlog. Heaven. Is this heaven for me? No. My heaven has always been there, down there. My country, my nation, my mother india oh my name is voc or you must have guessed by now voc only called as or valli nayagam ulaganathan chidambaram pillai that's a long name right i am also called as the kapilotiya tamilan or the sekkirutha semmen i'll tell you what that means much later okay right? also the tamil helps man now that i am in heaven let me sing the song which my dear friend mahakavi bharathi has sang it was actually a dream for all of us velli pani malayin meedulavu ho வெள்ளிப்பனி மலையின் மீது லாவுவோம் அடிமேலை கடல் முழுதும் கப்பல் வீடுவோம் 
அடி மேலை கடல் முழுதும் கப்பல் வீடுவோம் wait a minute i know you're wondering what that means let me tell you this is in my mother language tamil velli pani okay i can see my countrymen reaching great heights climbing great mountains that was once our dream adi melai kadal muludum kappal viduvom we will send across ships across different waters in different directions on the western waters palli thalamai tum kovil seiguvom palli thalamai tum kovil seiguvom our schools our educational institutions we will start considering them something as pure and sanctified as our temples as our places of worship i can see that palli thalamai tum kovil seiguvom engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom oh yes my dear country men and women join hands with me this is our country together let's rejoice and sing engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom yes my dear friends this song will always remain special to me as i look down at my mother country my mother nation i can't help smiling let me talk about myself i told you my name i was born in a small hamlet between tirunelveli and thootukudi or tutikodam place called ottapadiram padaram and here life was so simple and nice i was born to two great people my dear parents whom i respected a lot paramai ammal and ulaganathan pillai my childhood was so good i played games like goli kabaddi of course how could i forget this silambam of course archery as well my grandparents they told me stories about ramayan uh, about ram about shiva mahabharat my teacher taught me everything i learned english oh those days we were supposed to learn english especially if we came from influential families angilam that's how we called english in tamil we learned english or the language of the english <laughs> the language which the english people spoke every day i used to go to the taluk office and i used to learn english from the taluk officer krishnan i went to the school and finally i graduated as a barrister it was not a surprise because my father was already an established lawyer he was very famous but what was more important to me as a barrister just like my father was my work should save my countrymen my work should support my countrymen it was that time you know when the britishers thought that we were all slaves the britishers thought that ours was an orphaned country nobody to defend them nobody to fight against them they thrust those atrocities on my countrymen and i supported my countrymen so many cases i fought for them sometimes i took money sometimes it was free money was not everything right engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom engal bharat desam endru thol kottuvom that was more important for me it was the time when the swadeshi movement was gaining momentum the voice of vande mataram which started as a whisper vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram everywhere it started echoing 
little by little, little by little. How do you think I will stand away from that? I need to stand for my mother, mother country, right? Mother India, right? Yes. But you know what? All of us knew one thing. We knew that we were not going to get freedom in one day. We knew that we were not going to get freedom through a linear set of events. Definitely not. We knew that we would get freedom only, only by the cumulative or the collective efforts of you, 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 my country, men, women, you, each one of you, and me. I was very lucky. I got the best of friends. Vande Mataram Yenbo. Vande Mataram Yenbo. Yengal Mani Lettaye Vanangu Dum Yenbo. Vande Mataram Yenbo. Yengal Mani Lettaye Vanangu Dum Yenbo. Two great friends, just like me. They had the same passion, the same drive. So the same thirst for freedom. Vande Madaram. One of them was Mahakavi Bharatiyar. While we went around talking to people, talking about the Swadeshi movement, Bharati brought people together. He lit that spark through his poems. He was also called as the rebel poet. Do you know that? Let me tell you one thing. One of his poems. Achamille, 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 Yenbadille, Ye Wuchi, me the Vani, Din the Vir, Gindra Podi, look, Achamille, 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 Yenbadille. We are not scared. We are not scared. Even when the sky crack, cracks up and falls on our head, we will never be scared. Achamille, Yenbadille, he sang. That was Bharati for you. Not just that, so many things he spoke about through his poems. I'll tell you another one. Agini kunjondru kande adha angoru kaattilo bondidai veitin vendu thanindadu kaadu thalal veeratthil kunjendru moopendru mundo thalal veeratthil kunjendru moopendru mundo I found a flame, a spark. I dug a hole, covered it up, hid it in a forest. The forest got burnt. Now you tell me, friends, does it matter if it's a flame or a spark? Right? You have the power to burn down the forest. It is fire. It doesn't matter if it's spark or a huge flame. So my dear countrymen, you have it in you. Come together, big or small, old or young. Let's chase them away. Those were Bharatiya's words. He didn't stop with that. He spoke about caste. He spoke about women empowerment. And he was one of my best friends. The other best friend I need to say was Subramanya Siva. Calm, composed, but very determined. He stood by me always. When I had these two friends, I had nothing to fear. I had to just fight for my country. That's all. The other day, Subramanya Siva, Mahakavi Bharatiya, we sat together and we were talking. That's when we realized we didn't have divisive forces outside our country. We had some of them, many of them amongst us. Any guesses, my friend? Is, is there something that can divide us? Hmm? I don't know whether it's still there, but in my days we had the caste. Upper caste, lower caste. Bharadiyar had songs for that also. Jadigal illayadi papa. Jadigal illayadi papa. He sang. The other day when I was walking down, 
I heard all my people cheering for me. Vaosi Varda, long live Vaosi. Vaosi Varda, long live Vaosi. As I cheered, as I acknowledged their cheers, I saw a small boy standing over there. I went across to him. I saw the joy in him, but I went very close to him. I noticed that he was blind. I just wanted to embrace him and I wanted to thank him. But the moment he realized that I was standing close to him, he said, "Aya, aya, kita bara dinga. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me." I was shocked. I looked at the grown-ups around, and they said, "Oh, he's from the lower caste. Don't go very close to him." It shook me. It shattered my heart into pieces. I held him. I embraced him, and I said, "We have managed to poison this young mind as well." jaadigal illa yadi papa i took him home he was my other son tattarigira 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 ditto now we organize so many speeches across the tutukodi or the tutikoran beaches alongside the sea there was a sea of people waiting for us to listen to what we had to say once when i was giving my speech subramanya sivava chief guest i did speak about trade those britishers came to our country only to sell maritime trade and now we are not able to see our, sell our goods let's start boycotting the foreign goods we will not buy anything from the foreign countries and what we already have we will burn them off everyone cheered vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram yenbo yengal maanilathaye panangudum yenbo vande mataram yenbo vande mataram streets the roads every corner it was vande mataram vande mataram people standing along the sides giving their pile of clothes to be burned and there the same spark which mahakavi bharatiya spoke about agni kunjonra kande it doesn't matter if it's a spark or a huge flame it is agni and you are the agni we burnt all the clothes vande mataram and you thought the britishers would be quiet watching all of this they were noticing my political involvement <laughs> Tirunel Veli was becoming the hot bed of politics. They watched us closely, okay, and that's when this happened. Around thousand sacks of salt from my salt factory were stopped. They were not allowed to be loaded into the ships. My workers came running to me. and he said sir sir ayya you know what thousand sacks of salt they are all going to go away they are not letting us load it into the ship i wasn't shocked i wasn't saddened nor was i disheartened when i had parasakti mother india by my side why should i be worried about somebody who is living in my country doesn't matter they came for trade through ships and now they are not letting our goods on their ships it's time we started our own shipping services velli pani malayin meedu laavuvo adi melai kadal muludum kappal veeduvo i went around collecting funds i got the support of industrialists and merchants now i must tell you about the british india steam navigation company they were reining the sea trade and passenger transport but they were mistreating or ill treating their indian laborers on october 1906 our swadeshi steam navigation company got registered aha it was a great day vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram the capital was around 10 lakhs 40000 shares 
each share had a face value of rupees 25 anyone could buy a share even you many freedom fighters sold their jewels and properties and bought their shares it was such a glorious moment for all of us it was a dream come true it was a dream which i dreamt which came true aha and then we had a director also the zamindar and the founder of the madurai tamil sangam became the director now in the beginning we did not have any ships we decided to lease the ship from the shore lines steamers steamer company i went to mumbai with all the money the ones which i had got by selling my property by selling my wife's jewels everything and which the other freedom fighters had generously donated it was such a special moment for all of us ha huh? so why would we think twice to spend our money and when i went to mumbai by then the news had reached the britishers and the britishers made sure that the shoreline streamliners actually cancelled our deal i was in disarray ha huh? i got a larger vessel a larger freight from ceylon but the thought of having my own ship kept lingering in our mind where do we go for the money aadi meelai kadal murudum kappal viduvo i traveled all around the country selling the shares getting the capital and finally with a lot of difficulty all of us together together bought our first ship vande mataram yenbo vande mataram yenbo engal maanila thai gunangu dom yenbo our first ship kalya aha soon we also bought the second one ss lago from france vande mataram yenbo who told that indians can't do all of this ha huh? now these ships were so special they could carry 1400 people in around 4000 gunny bags nothing could stop us the britishers tried their best at first they reduced their fare to 1 rupee per passenger hmm and we reduced ours also to 0.5 which was 8 annas they went down further saying free travel for everyone in fact we'll give you free umbrellas also aha they tried their best to buy the the swadeshi ship company they tried their best they tried their best but i didn't budge vande madaram yenbo vande madaram yenbo now all this was being noticed ah huh? all this was being noticed they were getting scared they were getting insecure vande madaram yenbo vande madaram yenbo meanwhile i wanted to stand up for all my countrymen's right hmm the coral mills company they were again in treating the indians low wages so i along with subramanya siva led the strike for four days but what will these people eat i made sure that i could i sold my property to get the money so that they could eat my wife's jewels my children's jewels we sold so that all of them hundreds and hundreds of them could have a hearty meal போதும் போதும் சொல்ற வரைக்கும் சாப்பாடு போடுங்க until unless they say enough enough we've had enough a stomach full a heart full give them food i said and they ate nicely and my heart was full the strike was a huge success many people spoke about it freedom fighters in the north as well aha our britishers were getting very scared now very scared we were warned we were called for a meeting aha uh -huh, by the british officer winch and ash ash durai aha uh -huh, robert w d h ash he called us he warned us but we weren't bothered this is our country why should we be bothered but they bothered again go but they bothered again go and 
mind, you know what's going to happen next. We were arrested. We were arrested. There were riots. Municipal offices, police stations, post offices were attacked. Bande Mataram, Bande Mataram, Bande Mataram. Rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. Everywhere. Some of our supporters managed to get some money to bail me out. But how could I accept that? when my comrades and friends and other supporters along with Subramanya Siva would be in jail, how could I alone come out? So we were taken to the court and they said, we spoke against the government. So it was a sedition case. So I was sent <laughs> to the Coimbatore jail and it was a double life imprisonment, my dear friends. I was worried. This was for my country and my people. 40 years of imprisonment, double imprisonment. And Subramanya Siva was sent to the central jail in Salem. Vande Mataram Kyanbo. Vande Mataram Kyanbo. In the prison, my supporters, my friends, everyone suffered. We had to work. We had to work non-stop. If you ever stop, we were kicked and hit and beaten up. We were asked to break rocks. Bande Madhar Amkhyanpo Bande Madhar Amkhyanpo But no regrets. It was for my country. I will see. Bande Madaram. Ah! Every time I was kicked by an officer, even though it was my prison, everyone, the supporters came running. They spoke for me. Bande Madaram. The food that we got after a tiring day. We couldn't even have a morsel of it. Ah, the water to quench our thirst and wet our dry leaves, dry lips. We couldn't drink because the tumbler or the cup had a big hole in it. By the time we drank, all the water would have been out, leaked out. But it's for my country, for my country. Bande Mother Yenbo. We stood for each other, even though we were behind the bars. <laughs> Sekirta Semmel. That was the other name given to me. My body was bleeding. My hands were full of blood. It has been days since I have eaten anything. But I will keep smiling. They can break my bones, but they can't break my spirit. They made me pull the yoke, which two bulls are supposed to pull to extract oil. Ah! Every time I stopped, the whip was on my back. Ah! Vande Mataram Kienbo. Vande Mataram Kienbo. Those painful days were for my mother India, for my countrymen. Vande ah, Madaram Yenbom. By then, with a lot of difficulty, I had appealed for a reduction in my sentence, and it did happen eventually. My imprisonment was reduced to four years of jail and six years in exile. Four years after all this, I stepped out of the prison. The beautiful sky, the free birds, my mother India. But where were my countrymen? That's okay, that's okay. I couldn't see even one person. That's okay, that's okay. It's my country, my people. Vande Mataram 
Yan mo. But behind those bushes, I saw someone hiding, covering himself with a blanket, hiding himself. Yar adhi? Uh, Aya, sir, who are you? He was trying to run away. Aya, who are you? He started tearing up and he said, Vahusi, VOC, even you don't recognize me. I'm sorry. You sound familiar, but I don't know. I am your friend, your comrade, Supramanya Siva. Subramanya Siva, he looked completely disfigured. <laughs> the gift from the Britishers, the gift from the prison. He had leprosy. He looked completely deformed. His fingers looked crippled. And those days, my days, leprosy was a deadly disease. We didn't have any medication and nobody wanted to go near a person. What? Is that you? I had to embrace him. He stood by me. All along. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Vyosi, don't come near me. Vahusi, don't come near me. I embraced him. I embraced him. Vande Mataram Yenbo. We'll stay together for the good of our country. Life took several turns after that. I had lost all my money, my property. I couldn't go back to Tirunelveli. My license was suspended by the Britishers. So I couldn't practice law, which I was so passionate about. What do I do? There was no money for food. Sometimes I had to sell my law books to get some food for my family. Ah, I know what you're asking me. What happened to the Swadeshi? Yeah, you're, you're asking me that? I know, I know. So what happened to the Swadeshi navigation company? Our ships? They were all liquidated. The company was liquidated by 1911. They told me. And all the ships were sold or were auctioned off. And you know who bought them, right? They, they bought my ships. But nothing can cripple me. Nothing can break my spirit. Yes, there was poverty. Yes, many people didn't know me, but that's okay. This is my mother India and these are my people. I had to work in a grocery store. I sold kerosene. I wrote books. I was becoming old. My term in the prison had weakened my body, but not my spirit. I was becoming old, weak and tired, but I was waiting to see my free nation. One by one, my fellow freedom fighters we're moving on. We're leaving to heavenly abode. What is happening? Won't we stay alive to see the freedom of our country? One day as I sat down to write the books, the books which, were, which I was writing on Tirukkural, many others, Sir, telegram. Telegram for me. A poor old man like me. I was shocked beyond belief. My dear friend, Mahakavi Bharatiyar had passed away. How could he do that? Paduvo me, Pali, Paduvo me, Aduvo me, Pali, Paduvo me. Ananda Sudandiram Adindu Vito Minj Aduo me Pali Paduo me. He was the same man who fantasized independence much earlier, 
let's sing and dance that we've got independence. He sang that song. How could he just go away without seeing this independence? How could he do this to me? Parasakti, Mother India, what is happening? But again, nothing could kill my spirit. I continued to write those books. I continued to write. My eyesight was worsening. I knew my days were numbered. I knew I'm going to leave my family in debt. I didn't have anything to give them except that love for my country and these books. One day, ah, I thought it was the usual pain because of that prison, the days I spent in the prison. They had kicked me on my hip and on my chest. So I thought probably it was that. But the pain didn't stop. Parasakti, Mother India, I knew. I knew. I smiled. You can break my bones, huh? but you can't break my spirit. My ever understanding wife, there she came, stood beside me. She was also getting old. My sons, that son, he was also there. All of them, they stood beside my bed. Few supporters. Aha, it was so peaceful. I just wanted to leave something for my countrymen. Just these words. The best way, my dear friends, country, men, women, all of you, to preserve this independence and freedom is desa bhakti, love for your country, love for this land. Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. Vande Madaram Yenvom, such a beautiful performance and uh, such a beautiful heartwarming story. Thank you so much for bringing his story to us on Itihas Ke Panno Se. It was uh, so touching and there were so many moments in that where, uh, you know, the flame that you brought in, the poetry that you brought in and when you talked about him carrying the yoke, uh, I got goosebumps when you said that. So, so many moments of, um, you know, his despair and his inspiration, so many things. Thank you so much for, and we could see it through you, your expressions, your, um, you know, you lived him. So, thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, I would just like to add a few words. Um, yeah, he has left behind a legacy for the freedom movement and for all of us for all of us. Um, to be very honest with all of you, Tiruvahu um, 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 or the respected VOC, um, if you see most of the fancy dress competitions happening in the school, you'll see that it's a character which children wear. That's how much I knew about VOC also. But for this particular project or assignment, I got to read about him. I got to watch the film called as Kapalotia Tamil, um, in which the character Vausi was immortalized by the icon Zivaji Ganesan. And I cried, I wept when I watched um, the film. And, um, you know, many people like him have sacrificed so much, and but they never died in regret. Probably they regretted that they couldn't see the free India, but they never regretted that they had lost their money, lost their property or anything. Bawusi was definitely one of that kind. And I am an, uh, a freelancer and an entrepreneur myself. And what struck for me is all the world over, you'll find all kinds of entrepreneurs, you know, who have gotten into this to get money or success. But we have uh, produced someone who has gotten into entrepreneurship just to fight with the British just to make his countrymen stand on his own legs. Now that stayed with me. Strategically fight back. 
in his own way for freedom of india such a yeah. beautiful story so you also have something that you want to share i believe uh, some pictures that's right that's right um, you are the co-host so you'll be able to share i think yeah sure let me share screen yeah Okay, so uh, can you see my screen, everyone? Uh, yes, yes, we can see the screen. Oh. We can see uh, different images on your screen. Right, I'll just. Uh... I'm sorry, it's taking a while. That's okay. The other uh, element of poetry that you brought in and the passion with which you sang was, you know, it was beautiful. You could actually yeah. feel his passion up there and the way you started with, uh, you know, him talking to everyone from the sky. Yes, this is his picture, I believe. Yes. Right. So this is Vausi or Vivosi, V.O. Chidamram Pillai in his younger years. Yeah. And move on to the next picture so you also arranged for the pagri i believe which was yes the, uh, all these pictures <laughs> yeah that's right yeah, this is voc other guy and this is mahakavi bharatiyar who continues to remain an inspiration to many of us many of us his poems have a lot of depth uh, in oh, them. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And his eyes, they, they, they're on fire. <laughs> yeah, he's called as the rebel poet. And um, yeah, so this picture was actually spent, sent by Kirtika. I will do a, I'll tell yes. a few. Uh, Kirtika. We have, a, we have a special guest today, which we will... Uh, Introduce in a few moments, maybe after you uh, share the pictures. Yes. So this is the yoke which he was made to pull or to drag in the prison. So he was in the Coimbatore prison and some uh, references say that he was also in the Kananur prison, Kerala. And okay. So the prison in Coimbatore. Okay. Small space. And I'll just go fast on that. So this is the ship, SS Gallia. Um, so in some places you will see it, uh, you know, with a different spelling. So this is one, it's a Roman name, I believe. And this is his other friend, Subramanya Siva. The person who was outside the jail with leprosy. Correct. Correct. Who had leprosy towards his, I mean, in his later years. And uh, actually when he, when uh, VOC went to the prison, um, his younger brother actually lost his senses. It was too much of a shock to see his elder brother being imprisoned by a British a lawyer of such caliber, um, you know, sent to the jail. So, yeah, I thought I'll make a mention. I had forgotten about that. And this is uh, the iconic scene from Kapalotya Tamarin, where Sajji Ganesan is pulling the yoke and he's being hit by the officer uh, in the prison, the wall, yeah. So what is the name of the film? Is the film uh, the same as his name? Yes, the same name, Kapalotya Tamil. Uh, it went on to win many awards. Uh, in fact, the movie, hi the highlight is about VOC, but it also talks about um, Vanjinathan. Vanjinathan is another uh, brave heart who actually murders um, um, the, the, the collector, that is oh. Okay. Ash was the one who ruined their plans uh -huh. to foil the shipping company, made sure that it was liquidated, you know, all those things. So Vanjinathan takes revenge. Okay, okay. 
So thank you, Priya, for sharing this. And uh, I, okay, there's a stamp that you want to share. Yeah, only the stamp in honor of his um, contribution. I think contribution would be a very small word. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, that's about it from... So um, I just want to uh, tell the viewers that today we have a very special guest also along with us. And she is the uh, relative of uh, VOC. She's the great grandniece. So uh, welcoming uh, you. Please join us. Ipika, yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Ipihas Ke Panno Se. Manakam. Elar Kumanakam. Uh, it is uh, such an emotional moment, actually. Uh, Priya, you like some justification. In your acting, when the um, VOC is up to count on the Mari, I hope everyone understands Tamil, or else shall I continue in English? Uh, I think it would be good to have a mix of both because our viewers who are watching us live on Facebook would be from different parts of India and the world. So a little bit of English would be nice as well. Though we understood the emotion from you right now, what you said, yes. Like uh, my grandma's mother and VOC was supposed to get married, actually. Uh, but uh, like they were Thai mama, Paya and Salwangalia. So uh, because of his uh, rules against this British people, uh, they the relatives had uh, decided not to get married uh, to him so uh, in case if the marriage would have happened then i would have been his uh, direct uh, great granddaughter i guess uh, and uh, i want to tell one thing he was a father of four sons and two daughters and uh, during his last days he didn't even have a penny to get his daughters married uh, for their uh, for his da uh, daughter's marriage and uh, his elder son uh, who's no more actually, his name is Val Iswaran. Val Iswaran. Val uh, was the name of a British police officer who helped uh, VOC to get back his uh, bar council registration number to practice his law. So in remembrance of him, uh, he named his elder son as Val Iswaran. And uh, one more thing is there was uh, one more unsung hero who was his very close friend, which is Vanji Nadin, uh, as Priya already mentioned. Uh, so they all used to, uh, Subramanya Swami uh, and uh, Vanji Nadin, uh, these both uh, people were almost with him till he uh, was sent to jail. So uh, these three people used to plan against the British uh, people. And their common place was this Nellayapur temple, which is a very famous temple in Tirunelveli. Tirunelveli is known for this Nellayapur temple. So they used to sit in the stories uh, because all around the British uh, police officers were there. Since the cops were there, they used to hide themselves inside the stories of the uh, temple. And uh, there is a pepper column uh, in, uh, like now it has been uh, called as Vannara Petai in Tirunelveli. So these people used to meet there in Teppakulam. So Teppakulam is a pond with the, uh, I mean, uh, in the temple premises. So these are the two common places where they meet the things. These were all told by my grandma and uh, my dad, actually. Uh, and uh, uh, since uh, this Robert Ash, known as famously known as Dore, uh, Dore Sami, because uh, people from Tamil Nadu used to call the British people as Dore, Dore Sami. And uh, the uh, British woman as Durai Amma. So uh, this Durai Sami, uh, he was a, a major uh, influencer in uh, cancelling all these uh, uh, three people's ideas and everything. So they planned to kill him. Actually, they were only planning, but Vanjinathan was the only person who did it immediately. He just jumped into the uh, station. Uh, that was there was only one station called Maniachi. Now it is known as Vanji Maniachi in remembrance of Vanji Nadin. So he jumped into the train. He shot all the family members. Police of I mean, doctor of uh, Thirunelvedi, Robert Ash, his uh, wife, his kids, and then he directly went into the restroom and he suicided himself. So that is how the Vanji Maniachi station is still popular. 
and we still have the statue of Banshadam over there. And uh, one more uh, thing about uh, VOC is, like, even though he was in Congress, he was an indirect uh, supporter of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. We all know about uh, Netaji and Mahatma Gandhi's principles, right? Violence and non-violence. So he was a direct supporter of Congress for uh, Gandhiji and an indirect supporter of, of uh, Netaji. So uh, there was one election being conducted in 1927 where two people were nominated. One was nominated by Gandhiji and the other was indirectly nominated by VOC. And uh, it was not said in history. The person who, uh, who was elected is the uh, person who was uh, supported by uh, Netaji and uh, VOC. So they wanted to get freedom only through non-violence. And that was why he was sent to jail, actually, VOC. And uh, his backbone was completely crushed when uh, he was sent to the jail. And uh, one more thing is uh, he was compelled to take the yoke in place of buffaloes. Buffaloes and uh, cows. So uh, he didn't have much strength, actually. Mm. Uh, his backbone was broken for around four to five times. And that was the major re reason for his uh, death, actually. We could see the weight of the yoke, the pictures that she shared yeah. with us. And, uh... yeah. That was actually, uh, the wooden part is now being replaced by the iron uh, rod, actually. Oh. And uh, in remembrance of that, a uh, uh, big park which was opened by a British officer after freedom in Coimbatore is in the name of VOC. Okay. And uh, VOC is Vallinayagan. Ulaganadan Chidambaram Pillai. Pillai is the caste name. And he didn't want to name, yes. have his uh, caste name. Yeah. But uh, because of his uh, father's and his ancestors' uh, compulsion, he had to have his Pillai yes. name. Yeah, and Ulaganadan is, is a renowned name in our family. Uh, it is very proud, actually. His father's name was Ulaganadan. And my grandfather's name was Ulaganathan. And my, now my husband's name is also Ulaganathan. Actually, my husband, all our relatives. Mm -hmm. So my husband's uh, name was also kept in uh, remembrance of his father. Okay. So, uh, so many stories within a story. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Around, uh, 24 people in our family named with the same oh, name. Same name. Okay. And we often get confused, actually. <laughs> I can imagine. So thank you so much for joining us today. I think, uh, you know, it's our honor and pleasure to have, uh, you know, someone directly from the family, which has happened earlier for another story where we had uh, Rajshri talk about her own uh, grandfather. And here we have somebody, uh, you know, representing the family. So uh, we have other storytellers there uh, on uh, our Zoom today. Please join us. We would love to, uh, you know, hear uh, from you as well. Please feel free to switch on the videos. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Priya. It was such a beautiful story. And you, I mean, you lived the character, I should say. You epitomized it. And uh, the second part that I want to talk about is uh, when Kirtika told us that, uh, you know, he kept his son's name. See, in spite of all <laughs> the atrocities of the Britishers, he had the tenderness that you know, uh, humbleness to you accept and keep a name, that too of his son. I mean, these people were from some other uh, world, commendable and humble to hear such a story. And I'm so thankful, Sarita, through you, we are getting to know so many people, you know. We just, like she said, we only remember these as characters in, uh, you know, the... Uh, fancy dress competition where you become the Jhansi ki Rani, you don't know much about it, you know, and then uh, a little here and there. But when you go into depth, that's when you get the pulse of the people in those times. Oh, commendable. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your honor to be part of Itihas Kipani. You and uh, you know what you're saying, what Priya said is what each and every storyteller who has been here has said that we've all heard, including me, when, when I did the story is when I went into depth and that character lives within us for a long time. 
you know. So uh, thank you once again. And it's it's my honor and pleasure to have all of you here. Yeah, Shri, would you like to say something? And I think we'll uh, uh, go off live from Facebook. Yes. This, this, this story is about ships. And coincidentally, today is a Navy Day. Yes, Being Navy Day. we have the Eastern Naval Command here. So oh, yes, so it's 4th of December, Navy December. Day. Good. Yeah, what a day to tell the story. Yeah, I had goosebumps, you know. And he See, if you want to start some other company, some manufacturing, something small or something, but to, to start a shipping company, it was full of guts and all that. And although he lost the business, he lost everything, he sold everything. I mean, through every, every aspect, there was so much of courage, so much of uh, you know, valor and sacrifice, and right from the start, right from your pagdi and looking down from the heaven, the way you took the story is like amazing. The way you emoted like him and the songs. I have a small confusion. Uh, Bharati are, and uh, there is somebody called Subramanya Bharati that is uh, from Karnataka, is it? Or you are muted, Priya. Okay. Mahakavi Bharatiyar and Subramanya Bharati are one and the same people. One and same the same. Person. Yeah. Okay. Both because you mentioned another person as Subramanya. I thought both of them combinedly are known as Subramanya Bharati. Some confusion got. Yeah. So that's, so why, uh, yeah. that's why I stayed away. I kind of said Subramanya Siva and Mahakavi Bharati. Because for people who are not familiar, it might be too confusing. Yeah. Subramanya yeah. Bharati. Thank you. Thank you. It was a wonderful story. Again, I, I never knew about this person. As uh, Poonamji said, uh, through Itihas Ke Pannon Se, so many unsung heroes. I'm looking forward to each Friday from which state, who else is going to emerge up, who are there only in that state. People know in the fancy days and some stamp must have come sometime or some local regional movie must have come, but rest of India doesn't know, you know. Mm -hmm. This is the commonality between all these unsung heroes. The rest of India doesn't the, know it's yeah. Correct. And the worst part is now stamps are also not being used. Yeah. Other, whatever I've been seeing, you know, reading about anybody, the best that our country could do was make a stamp. Stamp. True. On most of the freedom fighters. And see, even that is now going to, no one is using them anymore. Yeah, Tanuja and uh, Santi, do you want to say something? I just have goosebumps and, you know, I'm just speechless. Uh, beautiful, Priya. And it's an honor to meet you, Shintika. It's so beautiful. So I won't say much. I'm actually speechless because not just their freedom struggle, I was thinking about their personal struggle to what they have gone through because of that. So motivational and inspirational. Totally. Thank you for this. Thank you, Sarita. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, all of you. Thank you for this. Thank you, Itrihas Ke Pannu Se. Thank you. You're we also have Santi here, who is a guest of Priya's. Would you like to say something? Please join us. Yes, ma'am. I know only Tamil. I did not know English. It's okay. So I will convey my message in Tamil. Yes. Priya, uh, so Nalaki now or page potila on the Karanthi Trika, Baradia Arubati Are Abdindra, the topic kid, Nalaki page poti pace of Pura. Ipo ma'am Abde and the Kavide Varigala Soldra that che now body trick nay and Kavide la Yeridi Vichirindano, Adala Ebi Solo non Ravura and the Vuru we have practice Abbe Abbe a Manasukul of Poiterke. So, I'm going to you that I'm going to tell 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 you that I'm Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, giving this opportunity. Next one, then I'm the other chair that joined Panna. Already, ma'am, Solir Nanga, six thirty section start. I'm Shanti Nite. Nan speeching prepared Panitunda, the deal in Chatton Yavgan the Chi, ma'am, what is section written? Rumbadarma, waiting, waiting, one the term the Chi, Navara Rumba by and the Tayo, 
செக்ஷன் க்ளோஸ் ஆயிட போது போல இருக்கு ஆல்ரெடி சிக்ஸ் தேர்ட்டின் கொடுத்துருந்தாங்க செக்ஷன் நமக்கு சிக்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் பிப்டி ஆயிடுச்சு செக்ஷன் க்ளோஸ் ஆக போது போல இருக்கு அப்படின்னு நினைச்சேன் நல்ல வேலை ரொம்ப பண்ணாம இந்த பங்கு அட்டன் பண்ணதுக்கு வந்து ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் தேங்க்ஸ் பிரியா மேம்க்கு தான் முதல்ல தேங்க் சொல்லணும் தேங்க் யூ மேம் தேங்க் யூ எல்லாருக்கும் தேங்க் யூ மேம் Sarita, yes. just half a minute I will take. Yes, it's please. my responsibility to th- thank Keetika because very accidentally, she very casually, she said, yeah. you know, I happen to be a relative of uh, Vaoussi. Um, it was so beautiful, you know, you are working on something and someone you know just says, I'm doing this. It was like everything was falling in place. So uh, thank you, Keetika, for being there and gracing this. Uh, definitely i am very very proud to have interacted and spoken to you kritika definitely wow she's relative thank you so much kritika you know what and- you're saying priya is something which uh, we can see from shri and my smile we are not surprised at all because magical things have happened on itihas ke panno people have just come together and you know things have fallen in place the story has chosen the teller and uh, so many things have happened so uh i'm so glad you got to experience it like all of us and with that uh, i think we should take a thank you to all the viewers who joined us today on facebook for joining us on itihas ke panno se episode 1 season 3 do keep watching itihas ke panno se do keep supporting us share these stories like follow and pass on the message and uh, without your support we would not be able to uh, you know continue we plan to continue till august So do keep watching and sharing and with that I'll take your leave from uh, Facebook live